All right, everyone, uh, we're back in the shop. It's the day after 4th of July. Uh, I had a lazy day. I didn't do a whole lot. <laughs> Sat on my ass, drank some beer. Um, but I do gotta get these curtain rods done for my wife. I've been telling her I'm gonna do them. I've been lazy. So today we're on it. Um, I'm gonna tell you what I am building is so overkill, so, so overkill for what a curtain rod needs to be, but I have good reason for it in my mind at least. So the curtain rods we currently have are like, they're like three quarter diameter, then they sleeve down. You guys seen them. They're like, you could buy them at Walmart and they slide. So you can adjust them in any window. Our dog likes to grab our curtains and rip them off the wall, or he has multiple times. He hasn't done it in about a month now. So I think he's over it. So I originally bought these. This is solid three quarter. I know everyone's like, that is freaking overkill. You're right, it totally is. I had multiple good reasons for doing it. One, I was trying to make them dog proof. I was sick of having them ripped off the wall. So, these are the end of our Walmart whatever curtain rods. Yeah, they're cool. My wife likes them. So, in order to drill and tap this so I didn't have to weld a little teeny puck in here or put a rib nut in there or figure out some way to thread this that's why i got solid three quarter dog proofing them and i can drill and tap this easy so i can run this in here so essentially wow i will be putting those in the end of these rods so she's getting the exact same rod but it's solid three quarter there will be no step anymore because they they used to telescope they won't do that anymore so you won't catch your curtain on it they'll slide really easy on this it's going to be a lot better um so that's my two reasons for doing it. I know it's way overkill. I, whatever. This is what I'm doing. <laughs> um, the other part of this, so these were the brackets. They're super chintzy. Like you barely lean on these. The dogs would put your furniture against the, the wall and it would catch a curtain and these would bend. They're just chintzy, junky crap. Super lightweight. Um, if we don't like how far they stick off the wall, that's all the way bottomed out. Uh, we just don't like it. So, I got some extra of this. This is one inch. Obviously, you guys can tell that's half inch. It's not going to be exactly right, but uh, it's going to look better and cover some of the dings in the wall that are there from the dog ripping them off the wall. So, what I got, so that's solid three-quarter. This is three-quarter pipe. So, that fits in there. It's got a little bit of slop, but that's gonna essentially become that circle right there on that bracket. Um, what I'm gonna do is use this to bend this 90, and then I'm gonna weld this to it. Um, the only other thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make this a little longer, and I'm gonna put an arc in this, just to give it some character. Like, this thing is just crappy looking. Um, but the one thing this also will do too is, See, that slides over there pretty easy. Let me get this other one out of the way here. All right. So that slides over. So I'm going to only cut about one inch of this. So my eighth inch is one inch wide also. So I'll cut this at one inch. I'll get all this other junk off here. I use this for something else. Um, I'll cut one inch of it. It'll slide over like that. Then those knobs will hold this in place where I bolt this bracket in. So it's going to go 90 off the back and down. And then I'll have a curve piece that comes right down here. Um, as I start building it, it'll make a little bit more sense. Uh, they're going to be a hell of a lot stronger. They should work a lot better. So here's what I've got so far. So I got my three rods cut. I cut them at 76 inches. We have three windows in the front of our house. Um, these are just a little bit wider than the windows. Then now I got to drill and tap all these holes. So took my center finder. Uh, I don't know if a lot of people know this. If you're watching, trying to figure out how to build something, uh, this for you, the people that know these, uh, that's what this is for. You put it on something round, you draw lines, and it finds your perfect center. So, essentially, you can see, I put it on there and I've drawn three lines, found my center, I center punched it. Um, now I'm going to drill it and I'm going to tap it. So, uh, where did I put my steer card? I don't know, I got another one, I lost my first one. Oh no, maybe that is my only one. We're gonna find that now. Oh, here it is. All right, so 
for people that are not familiar with drilling and tapping a hole um every every thread has a pitch like these are on that little knob they're quarter 20 is what they are so that's quarter 20 there so it's quarter inch diameter there's 20 threads per inch um so if you don't know how to figure that out you can get online they have these uh this is a steric card uh so quarter 20 right here if you look at quarter 20 it's calling out a 201 drill so if you go straight across from it uh it's a 201 i don't really have a 201 and i'm drilling into steel i'm using a 205 because i want this tap to go through that hole pretty easy because they're kind of worn out i've had them a while so um same same thread that i use on my hot tub table they're also quarter 20 uh so yeah i'm gonna drill these holes i'm gonna get them all tapped um, but that's how you do it if, for anyone that doesn't know how uh just kind of a how to so yeah i'm gonna get all these holes marked centers marked drilled tapped and then i'll start making the brackets um i'll get back to you guys i'm gonna roll some more stuff on my metal roll i've been into this everything's got to be curved lately i don't know what my deal is but yeah i made everything curved on my my plaz table all the handles are curved and stuff so you guys if you're watching me you saw that on the last video so i'm all about rolling stuff right now i just want everything round round and symmetrical <laughs> all right everyone uh we're back on these curtain rods it's like monday night after work i was a little late going to work i wasn't feeling super hot so i had to stay like i had to stay there till like 6 30. um but we're back on these rods i'm trying to get these knocked out for my wife um got all those done they're drilled and tapped you guys saw those and i finally figured out a design that i like um so these are going to be the actual rod holders and it's just a piece of like schedule 40 pipe i think it's three quarter schedule 40 and then this is all eighth inch so it's pretty much the whole thing's eighth inch uh, you can see i rolled a little radius right here um i actually rolled a really big radius i actually rolled that guy right there and i'm just cutting chunks off of it it's funny it doesn't look like it's that big of a radius but it's that's the exact radius it is so uh yeah it's just, it looks smaller when you cut it off uh into shorter chunks um but literally I, I got one done uh i just set the other one on top of it and used it as a jig to do the other one um these are literally that's three inches this is two and a half and this is about maybe three inches of material there and then they're an inch wide um as you can see i offset my holes to one side here that's so i can get to this one and the original brackets they're a lot smaller in width so i just offset everything to one side uh, so you can see kind of oh man my lights these are just a lot wow sorry you guys these are just a lot smaller so i kind of offset the holes to one side um so that i can mainly get that screw in right there uh because all this is in the way with a long screwdriver you can get that uh screw in pretty easily uh my actual my rod that goes through here is flush with here so i'll get one side mounted put the rod in then i'll go over to the other side mount it and then those knobs that you guys saw those guys hold the whole rod in there you screw those on that's what holds it together so it really becomes one piece i got two of these done they're just tacked together uh i might go screw them into the wall just tack together and make sure that they work with a rod uh just to make sure because i'm not 100 percent sure it's going to work yet it looked like it was i did screw one of these in and it seemed to work all right but yeah that's pretty much my design i think they're pretty cool got a nice little radius right there something definitely better than this piece of junk this thing is okay oh, ridiculous so i'll go get try these try getting these screwed in by myself we'll see that could be a little difficult but uh i'll probably try it grab my rod grab these go try it make sure everything's gonna work before i weld these all the way out and make the rest of them i got all the tubes cut here i do gotta sand them all uh they still got a big old nasty burr on them same with these i gotta sand all these Oop. i gotta sand all these and uh bend them at a 90 drill the holes in them but they're all cut so i got all the pieces now uh because that's two well, i'll be four six so we've got three windows we're putting these on three rods obviously so yeah i'll go get this try this out make sure this works and then uh i'll get the rest of these knocked out and we'll hopefully be able to call this one i don't know if i'll finish it tonight because it's already probably 10 o'clock all right guys um 
we're back out in the shop. It's Thursday night after work. Uh, I had to work late yesterday. Just because I showed up a little late, it wasn't feeling really good after eating at this place. Uh, sounds like I wasn't the only person there that had the same problem. So, I had work late the other night. I got off, actually, right at 4 o'clock today. Um, came out here, I got on this thing. I got all these. These are all the, the hooks for the curtain rods. Jeez. Uh, I got them all welded together, got them all painted. This side, I got to flip them and spray the other side still. Uh, I'm waiting for these to tack up just a little bit before I flip them. Um, the one thing I will tell you guys, you guys saw, I, I went and test fit this. Um, it's funny to me, I, I built most of our house that we live in. I did a lot of the, like they did the main structure of it and sheetrock and stuff, but I did a ton of work in that house. I hung all the curtain rods, all the molding, all the window wells, all the finished kind of work I did. <laughs> it was six years ago. I thought all three of those lower windows were the same size on the bottom of our house. They're not. The middle one's bigger than the outer two. Um, I got lucky <laughs> when I measured and cut these rods. I measured the center window, which is the biggest window. So <laughs> two of these rods are like uh, probably four to six inches too long. So I'm going to have to cut them off, re-tap the end that I've already got tapped for those guys uh -oh. so not a huge deal but i man you'd think all these years all the time that i spent cutting all that wood to put in for the molding and the window print that i would remember that and i i spaced it so not a big deal i'm gonna have to cut two of these off shorter um what i am gonna do though is i'm gonna wait to get these brackets installed so I can measure that exact distance because like you guys saw before these are as actually they screw into the end of here That's what's gonna hold that rod in between those brackets that I just made so uh, I'm gonna make them exact. I know the middle ones uh, I think it's 76 inches. I believe is what it is. So I'm gonna get all these those brackets installed uh, Then I will put the rod I'll measure and then I'll cut the rods right to length um, the middle one should be spot on. It's the outer two windows that are going to be a little bit of a problem. Uh, and it's not a huge deal because I just got to cut it off, re-drill, and tap a hole. So I kind of wish I would have known that before I broke the tap off in the one hole and spent like an hour trying to get the tap out of there. Whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. Because I could have just literally chopped that thing off, re-drilled, and tapped the hole, and it would have been fine. But it is what it is at this point. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get these painted. I'll get these hung up and I'll kind of show you guys what they look like. These are these little brackets I think turned out pretty cool. I like the little radius on them right here. They're still a little wet, so. Yeah, they should be way better than this junky thing. Super lightweight. And oh yeah, that's the other thing I was gonna tell you guys too. Let me slide one of these over where you can actually see it. So that's the actual bracket right there. Got a little radius. It's got the hole for the rod. This thing, that's the other thing I did do. See how much longer this is? That's as short as this rod would possibly go. Uh, the problem with it is it leaves the curtain so far off the wall. I feel like it lets cold in during the winter. And my wife being this little twig and always cold. We could have talked about it and I decided to make these a little bit smaller. That's why you can see that difference if I put that up there. That hooks, you know, we're at least an inch back. So that's the reason those are like that. Uh, I wanted to get that curtain just a little bit closer to the wall and the window to kind of block some of that cold so it's not creeping in past the uh, insulated blinds that my wife's going to put up. So that's kind of why I did that. Uh, it's It should work out really well. It should look a lot better too, I think. I mean, you can see the difference in those two things. This, this one's just a better one. It just looks better. The radius is awesome. I'm kind of been into Kirby stuff lately. Again, when I first bought my metal roll, I was way into Kirby stuff. I've, everything I built had a radius in it. Um, same with my barrel, which you guys will see here. In another video, that's coming up. I, yeah, I don't want to give it away too much, but you guys will see what that thing's about. Uh, you can also see I got another project in the shop. That's coming up here. Yeah, it'll be one of the future projects. I got to do some work with this thing, but we'll get these done. You'll see the barrel, you'll see this. 
I got another truck coming up here too. So yeah, we got a lot of stuff coming, a lot of videos. Uh, keep watching guys, like, subscribe, please. Uh, I, I appreciate everybody that's watching, uh, helping me get my views up. So maybe someday this can be a full-time gig for me. That'd be great. All right, you guys, it's uh, Friday morning actually. Uh, my wife went to work, she got a new job. So I'm at, at home with kids alone. Uh, we got her curtain rods up, got all of her curtains hung up. So when she comes home from work, she gets to see what uh, she picked out. We'll see if she likes it. I'm a little concerned about the, these ones because there's a gap there. I don't really like them, but whatever. She picked them out, so uh, did get them all up. I, I do want to show you this. I had to, this bracket here, I had to flip upside down because um, going the other way, it was hanging in the window well because I actually got these hanging just a little bit lower than my actual uh, window casing, so. I just flipped it around. Uh, the only reason that one's on there is because this window is just a little bit wider. Uh, this one window here, so you can see we got one, two, three, kind of like just like on top. Same thing down here. This window is just a little bit bigger. So uh, it just needs that extra support in the middle so this thing doesn't bow. Um, they're pretty freaking stout. They're, <laughs> they're, they're three quarter solid, so they don't move very much. But yeah, I think she's going to like them. They turned out pretty cool. I like the little design that it gives it. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, I got all the rods painted last night and just put them up this morning. So now when she comes home, she gets to see what uh, everything looks like. We'll see if she likes it or not. All right, I think we're going to call that one a wrap, you guys. Uh, I'll catch you guys all in the next one.